come around, got the whole thing wobbing. What's up YouTube, Bipolar Gamers here, welcome to the channel. For today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys this glitch that I found in GTA 5 Online. I'm not sure if you'd label this as a glitch, we're in export, but basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep your CEO crate, special cargo, not club stock, all that good stuff, even after it has gotten blown up guys. This is something everybody should be doing here. And please make sure to spread the word to your friends so it helps people out. And I'm pretty sure this is something that can't even be patched. But getting started here, I'm going to hop into my truck here. And when I get on the map, I'm going to have my friend go ahead and blow me up. Okay, the oppressor tryhard is right behind me. I have millions and millions of dollars in crates. We've all been in this situation. We're sweating. Our palms are sweaty. Bam, we got blown up. Our heart's pounding. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I've worked all that for nothing here. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you exactly what to do right here. This is something everybody can do, and it's very easy to do. Pretty much what I've done is I just disconnected my internet right then and there. You can also close your game application. I'll be showing you how you can disconnect your internet really quick in just a second and I was able to test this glitch here and as long as you do not respawn and you disconnect your internet or close your game application you will be able to keep your CEO stock guys and it's literally that easy to do and I'll show you I still have these crates right here and I highly recommend that everybody does this here. I mean, it does not hurt to at least attempt to do this here. As long as you are able to close that game application, we weave right before you respawn on foot, you can move. So basically, you get that little red respawn screen. You have that whole entire window there all the way up to the black screen to weave. And you'll get your crates back. Look right here, guys. I still have the same crates right here. Now I'm going to be showing you guys a clip of how you disconnect the internet really quick. Okay, and here's how you guys disconnect through the internet really quick. You got two options here. Let me show you on my controller here. You can press your home button once. This should also work for Xbox. And you make your way over to settings here. You go to network. And after your crappy PS4 doesn't freeze here, you'll get the screen right here. What you do now is you press that home button once. And then what you're going to do here is press select and now you're back in GTA Online. Here, here's where here's where you disconnect quick. You press the home button twice. You come right back to the screen right here, guys. And then you just press select and there you go. The internet's disconnected. It's that quick. Like literally, it's like that quick to do here. So pretty much every time you double tap the home button, bam, you're right back here. And don't mind how crappy my room is here. And don't forget to do that, but you can come to the back of your PlayStation if you're this close and you can just disconnect your internet right there. I doubt anybody would do that, but again, guys, what are you like? You just want to just look at your map and everything in the game right here. And if you see somebody get close, you know you're about to get blown up. You just got to just be expecting at all times, but train yourself to do that. Believe me, it's worth doing this here. You'll keep your crates every single time as long as you do as long as you do disconnect that internet before you respawn detail online, I can promise you that. Uh, let's move on to the clip of what my friend's seen and me doing this again with a different setup. This time it was a boat. This also worked on a plane. Hey guys, here's another clip of what I was talking about. I'm going to be showing you my perspective and my friend's perspective over here. I'm going to take a slow boat out here to the ocean. This thing's slower than Bernie Sanders votes. Jesus Christ. And as you can see, guys, behind me, I got a try hard on a pressure. Oh my God, what will I ever do? I don't know what I'm going to do if I lose these crates right here. And basically, what I'm going to be showing you guys here is that you guys know when you get your crates blown up, anyways, you're pretty much going to lose them. However, what I'm showing you is a way that you're going to get them back here. You just got to be ready to do it. So just be looking at your map. And you're going to want to close your game application or disconnect your internet. I'm going to have the trial hired 110Ls behind me blow up the tugboat. And I'm going to get ready to disconnect my internet here. And as long as this meter does not top out where you respawn, you have this full window here to disconnect. 
and I'll just connect it right before the black screen. If you wait until your respawn is too late, however, if you do it before you get the black screen, you will be able to keep your crates. I'm going to get back in a public session and show you what I mean here when I load back into the game right here. Is it still here? Let's find out. Yep, as you can see right here, guys, the crates are still here. $10,000 here. It is definitely still here. I can't believe that here. That's pretty interesting. But, like I mentioned, guys, I have gotten this to work almost every single time. So, it's definitely worth doing. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for this notification zone. And let's set a lock of 200 locks on this video because I've let this video get out to lots and lots of people because we all know we hate cargo griefers. And if you made it this far, comment down below, hashtag I hate cargo griefers, or comment hashtag by power. So I know you made it to the end of the end of the video. And I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Peace out, guys. Let me know you down and I hit it up. Tell me who you love. Tell me who you love.